everybody welcome back we are doing some acrylic pouring and today I'm going to try a chain pull for the first time and not only am I going to try a ch chain pull but I'm actually going to try a logo design I'm going to try a paw print <laughs> and we will see how this goes so <laughs> I've already got the canvas prepped. I sprayed the back. I've got my little chains um, cut to the length that I need. I've got my cup of water to put my chains in <laughs> so that hopefully I can use them over and over again, especially if this works out. I hope so. I've got enough chain. <laughs> If this doesn't work, I'll try flowers and the butterfly. Hopefully those will work. I've also got my pipettes ready to get the extra paint that may pull. We will see if I have any paint pulling or not. I'm going to try to have the base paint thin enough that I'm not going to have to worry about that too much. But I think it's still going to be a little bit of a problem. So we will see. And let's see. Did I need anything else? I think that's it that I needed as far as preparation. I'm going to freehand the paw print. Because I need to have a base down, I'm not really able to draw it on here and then do it. So we will see how well this is. I don't draw very well, so we will see. So I'm going to put the pillow down. That's what the base paint is called. Might be a little too thin. Go ahead and pop any bubbles, or try to pop any bubbles. I've actually got a little too thin over here. Get a little bit more spread out there. We're going to do this, the fingers first. And like I said, I'm not very good at drawing. So hopefully when this is done, it won't look too bad but we might have to stick with more abstract than what I'm trying to do. <laughs> so we will see. I'm gonna do the dot method. Just so there's a bit of an outline, I'm gonna do black on the outside edge. You know what I wanna do? I wanna do, just a little fade. I know what we'll do. So I'm gonna split the canvas so at least have a little bit of a grid. So the bottom of the paw is going to be down there. And we're going to go two and two right there. So you can see I've kind of made a grid, so I have a little bit of more idea of spacing. Sorry, concentrating. I just realized I'm not talking. <laughs> There's one toe. I should probably do one at a time, but I'm going to go ahead and draw these out as well. And normally I'd do the five paw a five toe paw, but I'm going to do a four toe 
one. If it's the only one I end up doing, then I can sell it to any blue-white team in the area. Whereas the five-toe is specifically Penn State. And although my dad might take it and be proud of my attempt, <laughs> not necessarily proud of the painting itself, <laughs> My stepmom will not let him hang it up if it doesn't look that nice. So we'll try. Let's do the other two. Since we're doing drops, it shouldn't spread too much. And the tinier one. something in the pink right below my canister. I need to remember to try to get that. I think it's paint flex from the canister. Well, it looks a little funny, but not too bad. I should have brought this one down a little bit more. And let's go ahead and do the base. Now there are elements of this that are going to be Penn State specific and I'll show you what those are when I get to them. Whoops, I think I can clean that spot up without too much problem. I'm skipping a spot in there on purpose. Okay. That's it for the black. We're not doing any more black. <laughs> now, let me get the pipette. I think I can clean that up. Or maybe not. Well, that didn't work too well. Let's do our next color, which is going to be blue. This is the Oops Blue. I think I'm going to Put blue dots in the black as well. I should have done that first and then done in between, but that's all right. I see it first. Told you guys, if you ever buy one of my paintings, it will definitely contain fur in it. I am getting tired, so we're going to switch out here. Now for the bottom part. And actually, I can go ahead and take these off. Okay. 
let's just, that's not working. Let's just scrape it up. That definitely worked better than what I was trying to do. Let's go ahead and get that. And let's go ahead and get that fur while I'm thinking about it. Okay. My tweezers in the water. I need to clean them real good too. I am going to put some different shade of blue, so don't worry about that. have a clean shirt on, I swear. All right. Oops, blue is done. Now let's do I'm going to use Arteza Thallow Blue. They're is a little bit thinner, I believe, so this might be a little more precarious. Come on, there we go. He says, no, I don't wanna. Okay, now one of the things I need to figure out is the shine. And I might have to do that afterwards, but let's go ahead and add those three white dots at the base of those dots. And then we'll just do it as a line, save our sanity a little bit. Okay. Dots have spread a bit, so let's go ahead and try to do our pulls and see how this works out.
There's a lot of paint there. I don't think I can get that up with this. Or maybe I can. I think a syringe will work better. Let me see if I can find a syringe. Okay, I had to turn the light off because I'm going to use my small blower to try to blend the bottom of the paw a little bit better and kind of go from there. And my cord's not quite long enough. Okay, that cord wasn't long enough, so we're going to have to use the hair dryer, and that is not going to be easy. So, let's see how we do. with the toes. I'll just make the toes even worse. Okay. We are going to scoop. 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 You know what I should do? I should just scrape it and do it again. That would be the easiest thing. Let's do that. So we are starting over because I got frustrated. I think I'm going to do it a little bit differently. Rather than doing dots, I'm going to do lines. I'm not going to do the black. It doesn't look like I'll need the black. And I'm not going to do the circles as big as I have, as uh, fully around as I had them. And that should help some. And we'll kind of go from there. Okay. <laughs> Let's try this again. We need to pop the bubbles. And they're not wanting to pop. Some of them are popping. The ones I want to pop aren't. Go figure. That's all right. I'm not worried at this point. 
<laughs> I'll just be happy if I have something somewhat reasonably okay. All right. Let me split my painting again. The blue marbling looks like fur now. <laughs> I keep thinking, oh shoot, there's some more fur. Okay, sticking with just lines rather than dots. Not full circles. Let's do it that way. Not dripping very well. There we go. We're going to stop there. Get my oops blue. And our shine. Okay, let's see if I mess this one up just as badly. Do the little ones first. Oh, let's pull up these. Actually, the glove dragged in some of it. I brought it further down because I think that will work better. I also want to drag the chain again. I just realized I'm not talking much. I apologize, guys. Concentrating a bit. All right, this little market, this little market, this little piggy went to the market.
That looks a little funny there. I didn't do that one quite as well. Let's see how we do on the last little piggy. This little piggy's going to cry wee 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 all the way home. <laughs> How can we change that puddle? basically just trying to redistribute it. We'll see how that dries. Let's do the big one. It looks like a feather, a headband feather piece. <laughs> oh well. Okay. That worked a little bit better. Let me get some of these extra blue spots out of the way. Push it off that way. Okay, let's get the sides because I know they're not done up real nice. All right, let's bring you guys in for a closer look. Okay, it didn't quite turn out how I wanted, but here's a close up. Oops, I can't do a straight line. There's, there's some neat effects in there, and I think that's what saves this. But I think I'm going to have to stick to just kind of doing abstract, like flowers and stuff. Bring you up high. And there you go. Looks more like a feather tiara. <laughs> uh, not so much like a paw print. And thank you for joining me on this fail.
<laughs> but for a first chain pull, it's not that bad. So thank you all for joining me. I'll see you guys next time.